Over the past 15 years, Shine has given voice to children and families whose stories of resilience have raised awareness, promoted action, and inspired change. Thanks for joining us as we look back on some of these amazing stories that we've had the privilege of producing over these years. I think the challenge for War Dance really started from the beginning when we were talking to Albie and Susan. You know, they had an idea to do something on this horrific war that was going on. And then for us, the challenge was how do we make a film about that? A film that feels different, a film that has uh, the voice of kids in it, a film that makes people mm -hmm. listen, a film that makes people watch and actually mm -hmm. captures the spirit of the people that are there and makes them more than a statistic. There were so many things that we didn't know. What was the subject going to be of the film? What part of Uganda were we going to go to to find that story? Were we going to use the music competition or not? And I just really felt their support being like, guys, we believe in you. And that feels amazing. The Harvest tells the story of the children who pick the food that Americans eat. These are the underfed, the underprotected. These are the people that deserve our voice, that deserve that their plight be brought to the public. When Shine Global came to me with this idea to do a documentary about the children that labor in the fields of agriculture in the United States, I was blown away about the statistics. There was just so much I didn't know. You can say that these films literally have a concrete effect on the ground where it matters most. Just because I'm homeless doesn't mean I don't have a life. Because I do have a life. So thinking about Innocente and all that she was dealing with as she's coming of age to be a teenager and, and an artist, what we wanted to convey through her own story and how she was sharing it was just that, that it was really coming from her. For that film, we set out to try to find stories about children that are experiencing homelessness. Even though she is homeless in that film, I'm not sure if that's that's the thing that's front and center all the time. For us, it's also a story about a young girl and her relationship with her mother, and it's a story about immigration. It touches on many things, and I think that it's multidimensional, and I think we try to embrace all those storylines uh, within Ascente to give a complete picture of who she is as a young woman. It was incredible to see the effect of the film on the audience and how it mobilized the audience to the call for action and simply how it really moved people to change the situation. Shine Global is family, partner, someone I can call it anytime and discuss distribution, production, the story. And it's really wonderful to be part of this small but super important process that's making a change in the world. I think that's the power of film. Shine Global sort of start with your heart and they start with children and I think that's an amazing place and the children of the world will deserve to have a childhood. It was brilliant synergy, it was a fantastic partnership and everything just aligned together to get the story finished in the most beautiful way that it could be in the most profound and the most impactful way. It just was a powerful reminder that our films can have an impact whether they're small or large, just this immediate impact just by itself to be able to have that film inspire these politicians to build a track for the kids was an amazing moment. Her mother could see that she was so passionate about becoming an eagle hunter and about this craft and about getting noticed for this. And, and it was almost like she couldn't deny her that. It was like in her and her eyes would light up Shine Global was a, the, the first organization that ever believed in this project. And I'll, and I'll forever be grateful to you and all the folks um, on your board and, and your members who were amongst the first to, to believe in this project. So thank you very much. I remember at the time there was a lot happening in the sex trafficking space and in the filmmaking world that it all felt kind of same, same to me. For me, it was the idea of that unique access that Nikki was promising. Really, in edit, we were shocked at the discrepancies. You know, we didn't know that he was really being dishonest, but we knew that something was really off. 
It was really devastating. It felt gut-wrenching. You know, these are real lives and people we've become attached to and care about. For me, it's just a, a, a stirring up of emotions, right? Like I haven't really, it's almost, it was such a tough project and, it, and we cared so deeply about the film and the girls and these uh, emotions for stirring up are really powerful. I want them to remember I'm the storyteller. We wanted to make a film that was different than so many other films that have been made. We developed this idea of a fictional character as being the sort of the vehicle for the kids to share themselves with you. I just thought how inspiring a story. These kids, what they can teach me and everybody. Think of the, the fires lit in young people's bellies when they think about what they're capable of doing. Being a part of the Shine family is amazing because they help ensure that a film can make its lasting impact. We don't understand why people who are different from us think about things in different ways, but maybe a new documentary series will help us change that. It's called The Election Effect. Shine Global recognizes the best way to go about the work of healing our country is to begin with its youth. There are strong divisions in this country. I hope to mend those divisions, and it starts by just talking to people. Seeing the world through the eyes of our youth helps us all to reframe the problems, to see our biggest, most intractable societal problems as something else, something solvable, something we can actually work on, because we have to. Um, Trey Mason Dasan follows three boys, each of whom have a parent in prison in Rhode Island. The filmmaking process that Shine is really huge on and, and was a big part of our process is the engagement. You know, where does the film go after it's finished? How does it connect with communities and, and start to make changes? We were able to take the film all around the world, across Greece, London, all across the United States. The number one thing that I was focused on was making sure that I was there for them and that the film was there for them. The Difference was a series that I directed and it was about the difference a child's life can have if they have a mentor in their life. I appreciate that you do push me out of my comfort zone and that I just get to go out and experience a lot of new things and a lot of new places in the world and just get to grow as a person. So if I can be that mentor that I wish I had, then I feel like I've done my, my part. Part of why Shine Global is so awesome is because it's filled with really talented, amazing filmmakers and we are all creating projects that we actually feel incredibly passionate about and can use to actually make good in the world and connect with people and have audiences see stories they wouldn't normally have access to or know about and see the humanness behind all of it. We have a much larger problem than I even imagined around incarcerated teens in America. I really want people to see this film as a call to action. You can do something about incarcerated young people. You can push back, fight against it, find some way to challenge the system and say it has to change. Shine Global means there's a company committed to telling good stories about children, for children, to help children, to advocate for children, and to be very careful and considered about that experience. The fact that we've made it this far is a testament to the resilience of these kids and the hope it inspires in all who watch their stories. Thanks to everyone who supported us on this journey. We just could not do it without you. Thank you.